Next, on to the fun part. Welcome to my channel, guys. I'm Mariam, and it is my birthday. My birthday is October 23rd, so today's video is a get ready with me birthday edition featuring this look right here, glittery eyes, wine lips, because it's wine time for my birthday. And basically, you can take this look and you can make it your own. I hope you guys like it. I hope you make it yours. Remember to subscribe, comment down below, hit that notification bell, and let's get to this. Get ready with me. Birthday edition! Happy birthday to ya! Let's get into the spirit! Woot woot! So I am already wearing foundation all over my face. Today I'm wearing Estee Lauder Double Wear. And the reason why I'm not doing my foundation on camera is because I think it looks pretty good. I put this on many, many hours ago today when I had to go fix my broken phone. Got a new phone, so I'm pretty excited. My foundation still looks good. So that's like two good things that happened to me today. Yay, yippee. My eyebrows are also already done. What I'm gonna do is probably just redefine them a little bit. I'm gonna take my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, just redefine my eyebrow. Just a pinch more dressed up for the occasion. And then I'm just gonna brush it out to blend it out. I'm gonna take a pinch of this Jouer High Coverage Concealer in the shade Macadamia. I'm gonna clean up that brow just like that. Bring down that concealer. And I'm gonna just softly blend it out with my finger. I've already set my lid many, many hours ago when I first did my foundation earlier in the day. And it's held up good, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Just want cleaner frames for this look. And by frames, I mean brows, because they frame the face. Duh. Those brows look even or not? Nah? Alright, they look pretty good. So the look that I'm going for in today's video, it's inspired by that look that I just wore to Gem Beauty in New York. So what I'm gonna do is uh, use this Nude Sticks Matte Eye Color in Taupe. And this is from my friend Melissa Alatori's collab. You guys know her. And if you don't know her, I'm gonna link a video right up here for you guys so you can get to know her and me and Lee while we were really drunk doing Lee's makeup. I'm gonna apply this Taupe nude stick all over my lid. So when I open my eyes, you can't really even see it. And then I'm gonna very crudely, but very effectively blend it out with my finger. And the reason why I'm applying this base is because for my birthday look, I really want my eye makeup to stay put all night, no matter what I'll be doing. I honestly have no plans this birthday. I just wanna do a family dinner just with my mom and with my dad and with my brother and sister and with my mom's husband and with my dad's wife and with Lee. I just want it to be a family affair. I'm literally inviting them all, even though my mom and my dad and my dad's wife and my mom's husband don't really often hang out together. Naturally, I'm a little bit nervous, but I don't care. It's my birthday. That's what I want for my birthday, parents. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be doing during this dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna laugh till I cry or I don't know if I'm gonna cry till I laugh, but but I just want to be prepared, you know? I'm gonna apply a little bit of that to my lower lash line as well. They're looking kind of crusty. Next thing that I'm gonna do for eyes is take this Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Friendcation Palette. I think this is perfect for a birthday glam. Look at those colors. I'm excited. I'm gonna dip a fluffy brush into this shade and I'm gonna apply that to the transition. So basically to the border of that nude stick that I just applied. Small circular motions, windshield wiper motions, as they used to say back in old school YouTube days. When I wasn't on YouTube, but I used to watch makeup tutorials religiously. And I'm also gonna add just a little bit on the bottom. Next, I'm gonna take a small brush and this super shimmery shade here, stamp it to the inner corner. I love a good birthday sparkle, that's just me. I feel like no matter what you'll be doing, it'll probably be at night, it'll probably be dim. Whatever little bit of light you have going on, whether it's candlelight or just dim light, you need sparkle on your face to kind of play up and play in that dim light. I usually don't do this step until the very, very end. I really wanted to layer that sparkle over that smoke. It's sparkling. Next. I am gonna pick up this Mothership palette from Pat McGrath herself. I know it's a pricey palette, but it's my birthday and I wanna use an expensive palette, sue me. I'm gonna dip my brush into this sparkly shade here, kind of like a sparkly taupe. And I'm gonna apply the shadow all over my lid. Of course, you don't have to use this palette, you don't have to use this eyeshadow, you could use any sparkly taupe shadow that you can find. I don't care if it's drugstore, I don't care if it's high end. It's your birthday. I will tell you, I'm not a center of attention type of gal, at least not on my birthday, but I do like to look nice. And not just for my friends, and not for Lee, but really just for myself. 
I don't know what it is. Something about having a nice makeup look just gives me confidence and makes me feel a little bit more accomplished. Like, I did that. I woke up and I wasn't looking that sparkly and that shiny, but now I am. You know what I mean? That's looking really pretty. I like it. Next thing I'm gonna do is reach for a cooler type of shadow. I'm gonna pick up this uh, Goddess Glow palette from Estee Lauder, and I'm gonna go into this black and brown shadow here. Gonna add that right here to the outer groove. I'm gonna start adding that in a rounded shape, kinda like that, and then I'm gonna start lifting it, just the outer portion, in a wing. And then I'm gonna take that fluffy brush, the very first one that I used, the transition shade, and I'm gonna soften those edges. I don't want this to be super winged. I also don't want this to be super smoky. Kind of in between. I still want it to have that shape. I don't want it to be too harsh. And I don't want it to be too pointy either. So I think that's looking pretty good. So my goals for this birthday are the following. On the 22nd, the night before my birthday, we are going to a Justin Timberlake concert with Urban Decay. And this was a concert that we were supposed to go to back in February or March, I believe. And unfortunately, New York got hit with a snowstorm. Justin had to cancel his concert. The 22nd is actually the official rain date. And it's the day before my birthday, so I'm pretty excited. I'm definitely gonna be sharing the whole experience on my Insta stories, as I always do. So be sure to follow me on my IG, cause you know it's gonna be lit. And then the following day, that's when I wanna do the dinner with my family. And no friends, just family. I want it to be kind of like a very, very intimate moment. In all honesty, we've had a bit of a scare a few weeks ago with my dad and his health. My dad is fine, everybody's fine. You know, he's recovering. I don't want to talk about it too much because I really want to focus on the positive. I don't have a huge family here in New York because I am an immigrant, first generation. I was not born here. So the only people that I have here, people that I immigrated with were my mom and my dad. And then my brother and sister were obviously born here after my parents divorced and got remarried to their significant partners. I want all of those characters to be present by my birthday. And I think afterwards, we are going to LA. We might go to LA actually right away. So like the following day on the 24th, which is actually perfect because I love being in LA when it starts getting kind of cold here and it's still really hot in LA. It's kind of a nice transition. And then Halloween's right around the corner, so we're gonna be going to different parties. Every time October comes around the corner, it's always the same sentiment. I know it's my birthday month, but my birthday is a week before Halloween, and I'm always filming all these Halloween looks, so that's really all I'm thinking about. I'm not really thinking about my birthday so much. I'm just thinking, what am I gonna be for Halloween for the Urban Decay party? What am I gonna be for Halloween for the Pop Beauty party? What am I gonna be for Halloween on the actual 31st when I take my brother and sister trick or treating like we do every year because we do have a tradition. That is what my mind is concerned with right now. Definitely not my birthday. But I know my birthday is important, so in true Libra fashion, I am just trying to find the balance in my life. Also, the 23rd is directly on the cusp, so on many calendars, I'm actually a Scorpio. Though I don't really see myself as a Scorpio, I know that I have some Scorpio tendencies and I have a lot of Scorpio friends, but I feel like the indecisiveness, the constant seeking for balance is very, very Libran. To me, when I read the characteristics of a Libra, I just feel like I am the quintessential Libra. And then when I read about the cusp of Libra Scorpio, I'm just a little shook. Rest easy, it's all just a part of the intensely awesome package for those born on the Libra Scorpio cusp, known as the cusp of drama and criticism. Libra Scorpio cuspers are ruled by two passionate planets, Venus, which is balanced and loving, and Pluto, which rules deeply sexy Scorpio. <laughs> I don't know if I find myself very sexy. <laughs> If you were born on the Libra Scorpio cusp, October 23rd falls perfectly right in there in the center. You are one determined drama queen who can pull people in and spit them out just as fast. I don't know about that. I don't know if I can spit people out just as fast as I can pull them in, but pull them in? I think I'm pretty good at that. I just never let go. Dun, dun, dun. Have I been blending this eyeshadow for two hours? I feel like it's already pretty blended, but I'm still not completely satisfied with the result. Is it me? Is it me? Pop Beauty Flash Shadow in Naked Glitz. You know how much I love Stila Magnificent Metals and Pixies Liquid Fairy Lights. This one is very similar to those two, except the glitter is micro fine here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it to the center of my lid. God, that looks so good. And then I'm gonna just blend it with my finger, blend it over the inner portion, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just blend, 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 pat, pat, pat. 
This one's now dry. I'm gonna add a little bit more to the center. At this point, I'm only going to blend the edges. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit. Let's see, do we have any wine in here? Yes, we do. I'm gonna take a black eyeliner, Urban Decay Perversion. I am going to tight line my top lash line. Man, I really don't wanna do this. It's my birthday, I shouldn't have to do this. I shouldn't have to put myself through pain. I'm gonna take that liner and line my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a flat top brush like this and just smudge it out. And then I'm gonna go back to that cool brown shadow and I'm gonna seal that liner just like that. And trust me, when you do that, your lower lash line is not going to run. It's not going to smear. It's not going to smudge. It is not going to disappear from you for the rest of the night. Next thing that I'm gonna do is pick out my eye boogers. Don't judge me. I'm sorry, Lee, if you're watching. I know this is not the kind of talk that you approve of, but it's a part of life. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to watch our relationship advice series, episode one. Okay, I will link it up here. For my lower waterline, I will use this uh, Mr. Right from the Bomb Cosmetics pencil. I'm gonna line my waterline. I'm also gonna make sure that I reach right between the lashes and that there's no flesh tone seeping through. Also going to re-emphasize this inner corner and just connect to my top lash line like that. I learned this technique from my friend, who's also my relative, Sirdar Kambarov. You guys have to follow him on Instagram. He does the most magnificent makeup looks on all different faces and on all different types and he's just damn inspiring. One time he did my makeup and he did this technique on my lower lash line. I swear I thought it was J-Lo. Thanks, Sirdar. Not sure if I want a wing for this look, but the bottom lash line is just so strong and it's so heavy. I feel like I just need to re-emphasize the top a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna line very closely to my lashes. Also using my favorite chewing liner from The Balm Cosmetics. Which by the way, you can get this liner at Walmart and I've linked it down below. I'm starting to feel my glam. More wine. Now I need just a little bit more waterproof mascara. Once again, I'm gonna reach for The Balm Cosmetics Scuba Waterproof Mascara. And now I think I'm ready for lashes. Today's lashes are going to be Love Lashes in the style Starry. Why? Because I love these and it's my birthday and I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna make this quick, so let me put these on and I'll be right back. Lashes are on. And now I think it's time to add a little blush. I'm gonna use one of my most favorite blushes of all time and it is this Motives Peach Twist. It's just a beautiful matte peach shade that's so flattering. Oh, well, would you look at that? I don't have a blush brush so I am gonna have to use this highlighter brush. I'm gonna add that right here to the apples. Isn't that a pretty shade? I'm not lying. And the quality of this blush is really awesome as well. It's not patchy whatsoever. So it's not gonna stick to like your acne. Next, I'm gonna use Pixie's Delicate Dew Glowy Gossamer Duo. I'm gonna pick up the darker shade here. Same brush, cause that's all I have right now. I'm gonna highlight this area here. Basically the entire top of the cheekbone. I'm gonna do just a little bit of the forehead, but not too much cause I am breaking out, you know. It's my birthday month, so skin gods are trying to bless me extra early. Seriously though, my skin always magically gets better in LA just because the climate there is so much drier. And the way that my DNA is set up, I just thrive. My skin just thrives in drier climates. So I just applied the lighter shade from this uh, Pixi Compact right on top. And now I have this um, very nice 3D sort of glow. Now a little bit of Fix Plus. While that's drying, I'm gonna do this Luminous Gold Dual Finish Highlighter from Lancome. Oh yes, that is nice. If you ever feel like you've applied too much highlighter, although there's no such thing, but sometimes you just might feel that way, you can always just take a dry beauty blender and kind of go over the part where you've applied too much and it'll just suck it right up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all this crust I have happening. I'm gonna use my Fenty Match Stick in the shade Mocha. I'm gonna contour my mouth as I always do. I'm gonna use this Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush. Make sure you guys blend out those edges when you're contouring your lips. And now for my lips today. I mean, I can go literally in any direction with this eye look. I can do a nice Fenty Nude. I can do a neutral, dusty rose kind of pink. I mean, anything really. Because my 
dress is going to be a vibrant fuchsia color. I wanna go for something a little bit darker and I think it'll tie in my whole look together. I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever lip liner in the shade 42 and I'm gonna line my lippies like I always do. And then for my lip color, I'm gonna use Pixie Berry Boost. This is their new shade and I am obsessed with it. Ooh. Pretty, but I wanna make it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna use my MAC lip liner in the shade Vino. I'm gonna add a little darkness to the outer corners. Now it's looking more like the way I like it. Oh yeah. And here is the full birthday look in effect with the glitter, with the lips, with the fuchsia dress, with the slick back hair. What do we think? Are we loving it? Are we into it? You can definitely take this look and make it your own by adding a different colored lipstick or doing different hair or wearing a different colored dress. This look is definitely customizable and it's one of my favorites for that very reason. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. <laughs> Mmm, okay. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Check out my other videos right here, you know the drill. And uh, I will see you next time when I'll be when you're older and also wiser. I love you guys. <laughs>